Hey folks, my name is Tim Webb, and eight years ago I launched a web series by saying that everyone can play music. And today, I'd like to let you know that anyone can program. Now, I know that a lot of you are at home like, I don't want to program, what are you talking about, dude? Please stick with me, I'm going to explain what I'm doing here, and then at the end of the video, anybody who's on the fence or just not interested, I'm going to explain all the reasons that you should get interested in, alright? But the chief one of these is that it's a fun hobby. Like, this is actually a fun thing to get into. Right? I know that looking at programming from the outside, it looks either boring or too complex or whatever, and it really isn't. Like, you, you see the big final finish program, but the programming part is breaking that down into solvable challenges. And every time you're solving one of these challenges and building up this program, you feel great about yourself because you're solving all these challenges and building up this final program, and you feel so amazing when you actually deliver on something that's big. Like, uh, my... My site Discord uh, started off as a blog, but it was quickly outgrowing itself as a blog. It needed it to be a content management system that was highly customized. But when I was looking into this, everybody was saying that I was insane for trying to write my own CMS all by myself. And um, I didn't believe them, so I did it. And it works, and it's great. And I went on to, to build another uh, website that's more of a cataloging thing. And then I went back and I made another content management system for this site. So, like, it... Don't psych yourself out, like anyone really can program. As long as you've got access to a computer and you don't you know, suffer from some serious mental deficiencies, you're gonna be able to get into this. And it's great once you get into it. The, the challenge here though is getting over that hurdle of, of learning. And I know, man, I know there are so many boring people out there trying to teach programming. Like, even if you pay for like serious courses from some of these uh, uh, providers, they, they're all boring. They're all like just PowerPoint presentations with some presenter going droning on in monotone about an array being a series of variables. And it, it, nobody learns from that. It's it's just so dry. And I've got ADHD, so I can't uh, like really read a, a book that's too dry. Like it, it's just too boring. It's physically painful to, to deal with that. Like I get all of the challenges in learning to programming which is why I'm going to be presenting this series in the same way that I'm uh, teaching people how to uh, produce music and, and synthesis and stuff like that in my Let's Plays, which is just basically me doing things and explaining what I'm doing, and by sharing my enthusiasm, I hope that I'm going to engage other people to be able to do this themselves. And that it, there are a lot of parallels in between teaching programming and teaching synthesis. Like it, it seems weird and complex and archaic and magical on the outside, but it's really not once you get to understanding a few basic principles. Like throughout the, the course of my Let's Play series, I've done dozens and dozens of different uh, synthesizers, but the core principles of synthesis are all the same. So it, it, it really uh, is, is just a matter of once you get those cores, you can build on from there to, to all kinds of different and great things. The same is true here in, in programming. Like, I, I've programmed in every single language, that, you know, every modern language, uh, because I understand the principles. Like, that, that's all it takes, is understanding the principles, and then you can move on from there. And through repetition in my, my series of videos, like, people have picked up, okay, well, this is how I do this, and this is how I do that. So I feel that programming is going to be the same exact thing. And there are already a few people on YouTube that are doing a very good job of um, uh, what they call live coding, where they're, they're, they're doing their programming and they're talking about it. But some of those guys you know, don't speak English very well, or they, um, they they make a lot of various goofy errors. So I want to be clear that I'm not shitting on everybody else that does uh, YouTube tutorials. So there's great, great guys out there that I've learned a lot from. But there's also a lot of people that either they're not very good at English or they're... Um, not very good at, at handling some of the challenges involved in this medium, including a common one where they're talking and they're typing and talking and typing is hard and they keep talking and they keep typing and then they screw up in some sort of fundamental way. And they're looking at this and you see the color drain out of their face as they start to panic because they've now screwed up on video and now they're panicking on video. Discontinuity. What? Where did all the co the fuck is going on like <laughs> i hate when i hate when people do this they do this a lot where you know, i get it. it feels bad to screw up on video but it does not help anyone to just suddenly paste in a whole bunch of code and then move on with share like and subscribe uh like that's <laughs> that's not how learning works you know learning shouldn't be the boring repetition of an array is uh, and it, it it should not also be just like copy pasting a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> and then moving on I'm going to show you 
how to program using the same exact way that I uh, teach synthesis. It's just about uh, repetition and seeing it in use. And, and programming is exactly the same. So if you follow along, we're, we're gonna just be doing things and just like, you don't have to try to commit everything to memory, but just through the repetition and seeing it in action, you're gonna pick it up. And I know this for a fact because this is how I picked up a lot of this. <laughs> now it, it's called heuristics and Whenever I use a big word or some kind of um, new concept that's that's not very well explained in the video, I'll, I'll fix that in editing and add a little alert that you just saw there uh, off to the side here that uh, um, will, will pop up and let you know that, that hey, here are some extra details on, on what I'm saying. And uh, I've also got another alert. Ah! And whenever you hear that, that's the Wilhelm scream. Whenever you hear that, that's big news that this is some serious security related thing because there are a lot of serious security related things in programming that you can screw up so i'm, I'm going to be very clear and like this is something you need to be paying attention to that might be something you want to try to commit to memory but all the other stuff and there's going to be very few of those but all the other stuff is just going to come through repetition and use so if you're sold, you're interested, you're good luck, because I've posted the first two videos to the series with this video. If you're watching this on Facebook, head on over to my YouTube channel, and you'll see that there's a, an introduction to the basic concepts, and then the next video, uh, which is a little bit more representative of how this series is gonna go, and uh, you're set, like, uh, get going. Strike while the iron is hot, get into this. The rest of this video is gonna be uh, me trying to encourage uh, people to, to take me up on this because uh, I, I get the resistance like you, you wouldn't necessarily want to be doing this and if you were already wanting to be doing this you'd probably been looking into it already like I get that so this is me trying to be the the, the, the champion of of you <laughs> because like so many people out there are just wasting their potential like there really is no reason to be spending the amount of time that people are on Facebook and all this other nonsense like if you have a hobby you don't have time for nonsense like Facebook. Like you don't need that drama in your life at all, right? Like, I've got hobbies. I, I spend like 15 minutes on Facebook in a week. Like that's it. Like I got other things to do that I would rather be doing than spending any amount of that time on Facebook, right? So if you are finding yourself in the position of like, you know, I, I, I would rather do something fun with my life that's perhaps more enriching than Facebook and other, you know, nonsense like that, then you're in luck, right? This is a good opportunity to get into that. Now, several of you might be thinking, well, I don't need any of that. I, I'm happy with what I'm doing. You can't continue to coast in a lot of uh, careers right now. Like, if you are planning on being in the workforce in the next 20 years, you're probably fucked. Like, it's as simple as that. Like, there, there are different uh, reports. It's somewhere between 38% and 50% of jobs in the U.S. are going to be automated by the 2030s, which is not that far off. Like, I know that sounds like it's super far off, but like 2017 sounds like some future date, but that was two years ago. Like, it, <laughs> the 2030s are coming here real fast. And if you are planning on being in the workforce at that time, you're boned because there's not gonna be a lot of jobs. Like, we are past peak jobs, okay? That's, that's in the past. We are not gonna be able to just rely on all of the, the usual mechanisms of uh, job creation anymore because of the rate that we are shedding jobs. Like we've already lost so many retail jobs all over the country with the malls closing and big box stores closing. Like there are tens of thousands of uh, people losing their jobs left and right. And then we've got uh, other industries that are just uh, uh, obsolete. Like we don't need coal miners anymore. So they're, what are they gonna do? And the answer to that is uh, quite terrible, actually, because uh, we look down, we can see that the unemployment rate is actually going down as uh, the, this massive job loss is going on all across the country. So we're losing all these retail jobs, we're losing all these coal mining jobs, and somehow the, the unemployment graph is, is going down. How, how does that work? Well, it turns out that the suicide and uh, opiate death graphs are both going way up. So. It really is as bleak as that. Like these are people who have had careers. And if you're in retail or you're in coal mining, like that's basically all you know. And if that's just suddenly gone and there are no opportunities to move laterally, what are you going to do? And a lot of people have chosen suicide and opioids, and neither of those are particularly good outcomes. So I'm I'm really trying to provide a, an alternative here because very very quickly we're going to find a lot of other jobs in that same boat where you're making the decision of which statistic are you going to be. So like truckers are, are the obvious one that a lot of people are mentioning, you know, Tesla's testing out uh, a new uh, driverless uh, uh, semi. Um, but 
even jobs you're not even thinking about are also on the shopping block. Like uh, my husband installs, uh, um, well, used to install uh, uh, medical equipment and, and, and stuff. Uh, and one of those was an automated transcription device. And he was talking about how one day he's, he's in there uh, in the, the office, he's installing this thing, and all the transcriptionists think that this is a great idea. This automated transcription machine, they're going to get to sit back and kick up their legs all day long. There's nothing to worry about. This is great. They're all out of a job. It's as simple as that. And, and there's other, like, even, like, really, really high-paying jobs are on the block. Uh, if you're a radiologist right now, let me clue you in on something. You probably already know this, but like everyone hates you, all right? Everyone in your hospital hates you. They especially hate your car. And now they're trying to get rid of your job really fast. IBM and Watson are moving in your new territory real quick right now. They are buying up all these various uh, um, patents and companies that are related to these patents. Like they are gobbling up everything in their path to get into this industry. And radiologists are one of the first things that are going to go because their AI is actually better at your job than you are. So nobody is safe, right? If you think that you're safe right now in whatever you're doing, I hope to God that you are retiring before 2030 because that's going to be the cutoff for you, right? Um, but everyone else is going to have to be making their own opportunities really quickly here. And that's like, if, if you only learn one thing from me, is that in this life, you need to be making your own opportunities. Nobody is going to come around and give you an opportunity. Like, you have to be ready to make an opportunity and seize the opportunity. You need to, to see when an opportunity arises and, and, and grab it. Like, it's, um, it's all about like motion and, and like building yourself up towards some better point rather than sitting and coasting. Like, as I, I super get it. Like, you're, especially if you're working right now and you're lazy after work, you just want to be lazy after work. And I get that. Like, you just want to watch TV or scroll on Facebook or whatever like that. But uh, that's that's not a safe choice, all right? So if you want to check out right now, that's fine. Comment below with which statistic you want to be when you grow up. You know? Like, I know that's fucked up, but that's the truth. Like, all of these... Uh, retail and coal miners didn't suddenly become Instagram influencers or whatever. Like, they became suicide and opioid deaths, all right? And this is a reality that we're all going to have to face because there's no politician that's going to come swoop in and solve this problem for us, right? Like, only one of the presidential candidates right now is even talking about this as an issue, and he didn't have a chance in hell. So, <laughs> this is not something where you're going to be able to rely on anyone else to solve this problem for you. You need to be the one making your own future here. Uh, I hope that I will be able to help you do that. Uh, so if you're if you're on board and you're ready for this, then please uh, subscribe on uh, YouTube and finger me on Facebook and uh, we'll hopefully move into this new future together. Take it easy, folks.